the Vindicare is without a doubt the single best sniper in all of 40K. Today on Tabletop Titans, me and my friend Matt are gonna show you how to punish squishy characters and win the game with this character. The Vindicare Assassin is the most straightforward of all the Assassins. He's a sniper and that's just what he does. Every turn he takes one sniper shot really at your opponent and if it hits and kills, it's unbelievable. In fact, if he goes hot, he can be the most powerful assassin in the game. But because he only has that one shot, if he misses, he can feel like the weakest assassin in the game. And so he's the least predictable, which often makes him the least popular. Yes, the, he's the type of assassin that he has one single purpose. He's just sniping any character that he can see. Anyone that he has his sights on is going to uh, take some sort of headshot and he's going to try and take them out. If he can't, you got an 85 point model that's sitting on, a mo on an objective at least. Yeah, and he's not bad at sitting on that objective, right? If he's in cover, he, he can be pretty tough. Yeah, in fact, having just having a minus one native is already good enough to make it really hard to peel him off that point. But if he is in cover and he can just be touching the cover, but uh, he would get a minus two as well. Yeah, minus two to hit is not bad at all. And the fact that he's a character means he's rarely the, the closest model. But even though he has those drawbacks, he actually has had some recent changes that makes him vastly improved over his previous version. In fact, he has two key rules that are really stand out and allow him to be the sniper he's always wanted to be. The first one is called faultless aim. And it means that if he stands still, he always hits his targets on twos, regardless of modifiers. And if you only have one shot, that's crucial because you're still gonna miss that twos. Uh, hitting on twos, you're still gonna miss a lot of the time, but at least now a command point almost always guarantees it for you. When he does score that wound, he uh, has his next ability, Headshot, where he starts adding additional mortal wounds to his damage. Once the wound goes through, you then roll an extra d6. On a three or higher, then you'd get that extra mortal wound. Then on a four, you'd get an additional mortal wound. Then on a five, then on a six. And it goes until you fail, or you get as many as you possibly can. So that one single wound can now turn into five. Yeah, absolutely. And so he can go really hot and take out a big target or even pretty reliably get one or two extra mortal wounds on top of that initial damage. Remember, that's D3 damage. So we're already in the territory of killing a typical infantry character. Right. While he is someone that has that very tempting high roll potential, though, do think about him in the more average sense. You want to be thinking that he's dealing more about three or four wounds than he is about dealing that seven or that eight. Yeah, and I've typically found that you actually, to get the most out of him, you have to reserve that command point reroll for him. And if you have a lot of other uh, uh, models in your army that really want to use that reroll, then you're, you're going to be in a tough spot because if you miss that one shot, you're going to be really tempted to reroll it. It is a very tempting reroll. He's someone that you think that you have all of this extra momentum to build off of his uh, high rolling. So you, you do have to show a little bit of temperance and make sure that he's not over, you're not overstepping and putting too many resources into something that can or might not work in your favor. Like all the other assassins, the Vindicare got two great stratagems. I actually think these ones are a lot of fun and they really uh, make him better at what he's really supposed to be doing, which is sniping other people. My favorite one is for one CP, it's called double kill and it allows you to shoot again after you've already shot once with your Vindicare. It just has to be at a different target this time. And with his potential to actually take out a single character in a single shooting phase, you could really go hot and take out two key characters per turn. That one turn you get to do that, that's gonna feel really overpowered. He also has his other stratagem, the Turbo Penetrator Round. My favorite title for it's any stratagem is, is a great name. On CP, all you have to do is score a hit against a vehicle or a monster. And instead of rolling to wound, you just roll D3 mortal wounds. This is great for trying to pick off for that extra last wound or two on perhaps a Riptide or on a, a Knight, or, a Magnus, knight or, or Magnus or anything with the monster or the uh, vehicle keyword. And given that this is a shooting round, you can use double shot after. Wow, yeah, and I really think that's actually a great combination with Space Marines who are already doing mortal wounds in the shooting phase, right? They can easily put out 43 
Mortal Wounds, now you get to add an extra D3 to that. And this is pretty interesting. Now you can really pretty reliably put a lot of pain on a big monster uh, or vehicle. It opens up the available targets that you want to be shooting your Vindicator at. It doesn't feel good to have a model, especially something like the Vindicator, that doesn't have anything to shoot against. You want to you want to be shooting every single round. You want to be killing every single round. And with someone that has that high damage potential, you want to make sure that you have available targets. This opens up new opportunities. So here we have our boys set up, ready to do some damage, and we have our intercessors that are trying to hold them back. They're worried about that five up invuln save from the custom force field from our big mech with his custom force field. So rather than trying to throw all of our bolter shots into our boys, instead let's try and take a more tactical approach. Our Vindicare is going to be shooting at our big mech and trying to take him out so that way these intercessors can just wipe them off the map. Let's see it. One shot, hitting on twos. Let's see what you can do. Let's see what I can do. All right, we got a hit here. We got a five. All right. Since he is an infantry uh, character, I am wounding on twos. All right, we got another wound here. We and got a wound. We're going to go right through that custom force field, mm -hmm. and we're going to go right through his pathetic save. Yes. <laughs> and so that means this guy gets no save, and he's only got four wounds. You do D3 damage. Let's see what you can pull off. Wow, three. Okay, that's a good start. Now on a three up. Let's see it. So on a three up, I can get, add a little extra wound. There it is. There we go. That's going to get him. And we can actually keep rolling for this if you had more wounds. And we could take a we could take a character out with four, five, even six wounds. We could. <clears throat> All right. So we've got him out of the way. But I don't think that's the end of what this guy can pull off. So for double shot, we could pay one CP and shoot again. And we could go for the weird boy hiding over there. Why don't we try one more time, hitting on twos? Let's do it. All right. We got the hit. Wounding on twos again. Another infantry character. Whoa, six to Look wound. at that. So when you roll a six to wound, you're now dealing instead of D3 wounds, you're now dealing D6. So let's see if we can just kill him weird from the shot alone. A chance. Okay, three, that's a good start. We could always actually even choose to command point that if we wanted to get greedy with it. We could command point that if we want to get greedy with it, but I want to see if his headshot can do uh, what we need it to do. Exactly. We only need a three up at this point to uh, take him out. There we go. And there we go. <clears throat> so we just killed two characters in one shooting phase. And this actually wasn't even too crazy, right? We, we didn't really use a CP here, although I feel like most turns we might have to to make this happen. But there's a lot of armies with squishy characters. Orcs are a perfect example. We could pay that one extra CP, and then we will refund everything that we've just spent. This would be a great way for us to kind of wipe the slate clean and have just a free two kills off of our uh, out of our opponents. Yeah, priority threat neutralized is an amazing stratagem. And if one of these two was the Warlord, um, then we'd be getting a lot of command points back. We'd actually be gaining one command point even after all that we've spent in this phase. Any opponent with squishy characters that need to be out in the open will always fear snipers like the Vindicare. He might be still a risk to take as those shots don't always find their mark, but I think it's a risk worth taking in many matchups and it's a lot of fun to play with. Thanks for checking out our Assassin's Overview video. Don't miss out on any of our four Assassin's Tactics videos, and please subscribe to the channel to not miss any of our upcoming 40K Tactics content.